Good kind of evening. Yeah. So, how was your week? Anything? Like, uh, so we were talking about like coronavirus this week. Like a lot of things have changed from March, I think. Like uh, the companies, like uh, in my company, they have like uh, have uh, work from home, and I think uh, even uh, Twitter has all its employees working from home now. Like if you read the news now, mm. and even Apple is like if anyone has symptoms, then they can just work from home. Mm. Because of Corona. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really want to work from home because yeah. this room is not very great, and this okay. desk is not as comfortable or nice as my desk at work. So uh-huh. I actually don't want to work from home. But okay. So I'm glad that I don't have to. How about you? Uh, I don't know. We don't like we don't have the VPN laptop, but if we had it, maybe I could do it. But I think uh, in my house I have like too much di- di- uh, like uh, distractions. Like because I have my Nintendo Switch and that's like the biggest distraction for me. Mm. Uh, at work I don't use it because I don't develop for Nintendo Switch right now. But if I did, then it wouldn't be a distraction. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, I feel like in general I would like to work on some stuff that's like a little more interesting because I feel stuck on same features a little too much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'd like to move forward and do something I'm a little bit more excited about developing too. But but yeah. I think the app you're devel- uh, developing for Ionic is like with Ionic is kind of cool because you have like so many components in that. You're having location in that, you have your text stuff and you have your uh, coupons the thing that you're fetching from Larvel framework anyways. Yeah. So it's kind of cool because it there definitely are so could, many... Yeah. It could be mm-hmm. cool, but I think it yeah. just needs more features, more functionality to be mm-hmm. more exciting. So, yeah, yeah. You're, you're pretty excited about what you're doing at your job? Yeah, yeah. I love my stuff. Oh, my God. So I get obsessed with the... When I read, like... When I need to do something and then I work on that and then I read the documentation about that, my goal is to get the output anyhow. So, like, I get obsessed with my work, like, anything. And then I'll be thinking about that in the bathroom and, like, you know, <laughs> in uh, when I'm in my break time. Like, uh, it, that's the only thing I'm thinking about any time if there's an issue or something like that. But most, uh, whenever I'm free, I'll be usually studying or trying to improve my ability. So, in future, I'll be more capable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, Got how some did Jacob's you... Creek. Yeah. Cheers. Jacob's Creek wine. Shout out to Jacob's Creek. Good stuff. It's not like they are sponsoring us or anything. We just got it. Hey, maybe if we uh, start getting Someday. some more subscribers, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, they could then, then then they could think about maybe. <laughs> then they might mm-hmm. want to sponsor us. Yeah. Yeah. So what can we do to get more subscribers? Please, please subscribe. <laughs> please. Subscribe. I don't know. Maybe you can just like uh, put it in comments, like whatever you like. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, starting. Starting off stuff is, so, the, yeah. is the worst. So uh, no, it's it's the best thing because you can do whatever you like, and you can just like uh, see what people. Success. Yeah, you can just see what people like, and you can just go about with that. It's like doing whatever you like, anyways. Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. like uh, I watched one YouTubers mm-hmm. uh, YouTubers channel today, Sam Lucas from Lifehouse, but uh, Sam it is his channel. Okay. Very successful guy. So basically, just cars. Uh, he's uh-huh. a big. Uh, He's obsessed with cars. He lo- yeah, loves uh, yeah. drift racing. I like cars also. Really? What's your favorite car? Uh, I think I would Tesla? say... Tesla's good, but... Me, yeah, Model 3. Tesla Model 3. Mm-hmm. Whenever I get down and depressed, I'll go to Reddit page, watch, look at the pictures of Tesla Model 3, and I'll be, like, super motivated. Yeah, kind of. So do you want, you want to own one soon? S- not soon, someday, because my mom... I was talking to my mom, and she was like... You need to have a garage and a house so you can keep the car somewhere. <laughs> so first I'll get a car house and then get it. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. So goal is a house. So I feel as though our Japanese mm-hmm. snack taste test was probably like a more interesting video idea than what we're doing now. But that was kind of funny. I, I feel like we could get more views on this video just because like we could discuss like our podcast. So uh-huh. what's kind of your like your highlights from the podcast? From the podcast, uh, I think the, uh, us talking about tech and maybe the latest news was kind of cool. Do you feel as though tech is like yeah. kind of getting like crammed into like this? Uh... Nothing is getting crammed because that's like a section. So in, I know that yeah. there's like supposedly supposed to be like a, a, a tech shortage in Japan uh, of tech jobs. Um, really? Like there's a labor tech sh- tech job shortage. I keep Japan. getting like mails from them 
all the time like uh, but i feel as though tech is kind of approaching kind of a, a corner in terms of like there's there's yeah, so many, many people, people mm-hmm. and like not enough ideas or not enough like applications i think there is more demand because people are less likely to switch their jobs and so there's always uh, people poaching yeah but like i'm just in terms of pra- uh, practical uses of tech to solve world problems yeah. right like what kinds of problems can uh, i see we really even do at this point there's mm-hmm. like automated driving yeah. which is one of the last ones i feel mm-hmm. but after automated driving like what kind of other like even applications of tech are really imagine like, you could make a device that could just scan a person and tell you what device uh, what Di- disease that guy has like if he has a corona is it just say is it like corona is i think we can imagine a lot of things but i don't know it technically how would we come yeah that. just like things that are actually possible right yeah so no anything is possible but we need to get to the point where like uh, the more complexity it has that many more uh, how do i say uh, chain links we need for example like let's say if i want to detect a person for you if you have corona virus or not so first thing i'll need your blood sample maybe in the blood we have the virus so there should be some thing that will match in the database with the virus signature and if it matches it it'll just say positive or negative something like mm. that but let's say i'm just going to scan you so how will i know maybe your symptoms are showing maybe if we have too many corona virus patients and they have their nose dripping mm. all the time something something yeah, unique something if you find out that, yeah yeah something like that that could be definitely useful yeah. Mm. yeah definitely one is like the, if we uh, have too much of data set then we can maybe try something unique if we can find yeah yeah definitely like the the healthcare tech industry like finding a cure for cancer or something like that yeah if but if you can apply technology to find the cure for something like that it would be very useful i think many people are working on nano nano robots that actually automatically detect your cancer cells and destroy them oh really yeah but i don't know how successful they are like they haven't been uh, they haven't been officially launched yet they are just te- testing to so far yeah yeah what about your books like i think you finished the yeah i'm like doing like a recursive tree of books right now <laughs> so it's like not good wow, okay cuz like where did it start with like yeah. probably millionaire next door and then i started the foundation the book of islam ah okay start with that one maybe uh-huh so went to the house of islam then it branched okay. off to probably actually uh foundation by azag azamov which then branched off to millionaire next door which is now branched off to this one you can you, can, you will by joel Os- osteen which is an amazing book but there's way too many recursive loops happening and then we need to return <laughs> finish anything. some functions yeah. yeah so i mean i did finish so i was going to message you earlier today i've actually read yeah. more pages this month oh. sorry sorry i've read more pages this year so far mm-hmm. already than i read all of last year <laughs> last year even and i and also so. almost mm-hmm. just barely less than 2 years ago which is the year that i took Ooh. my How europe trip where that? good reads I see. So okay. I track everything on Goodreads and then like 2 years ago when I took my Europe trip, uh, I read a lot and I've almost already surpassed that amount this okay. year. Which is the first year that I've worked a full-time job in a long time. So that's I feel pretty good. Okay. So Previously you used to work like a free t- freelancer for tech. Yeah, I was working like two jobs, so I was teaching English and then also um Wow. Kind of freelancing-ish for this company. Okay. I was like kind of a uh, kayaku. I had a contract, but it was not a great contract. But at least I knew my contract. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so I was working two jobs and I love working one job because you go to the same place every day, you do the same thing every day, and you make more money generally. So, and you have more benefits, so that's way better. Okay. Yeah, so So I'm working never, some Zongyo, not working too much Zongyo, but I've never friend. done the freelance thing. I just work fr- full-time all the time. So yeah, so me until you cool. lose your first job. Yeah, I never do that. Gonna be out of I'm options. very good employee. Like people love me. So yeah. Until you lose your first job. I lost my first job when I joined the second one. Kind of, um hmm. Yeah, it happens to um, I mean, it hasn't happened to you. When did you lose your job? I didn't lose my job. Okay, I quit. Okay, so it hasn't happened to you. Yeah. But it will happen to you at some point. Yeah, when I get older maybe. Yeah. But That's I've lost a lot of jobs. How do you lose a job? I feel like it builds job? character. Ah, uh, maybe. Having bad jobs and then also just not being mm-hmm. awesome like you, I guess. Maybe. Oh, I see. Maybe. Okay. People love me, so I don't know. I'm just too awesome. <laughs> I'm awesome, see. too. Mm-hmm. You should just believe that, maybe. 
So you like sweet potatoes? Because I like you had sweet potato cake last time, like recently. No. <laughs> Okay, we're because that was we're like really hit our ten. We've hit our ten minute mark. We will find out how people respond to this this wonderful how they episode like the of I don't know what this was, potatoes. but mm-hmm. maybe you'll watch it. Maybe you yeah. won't. You probably won't. But I hope but you do. But have fun. Like just tell us what you like. Yeah. And be cool about it. Yeah. So yeah. check out our podcast. This is pretty much a promotion of our podcast, like our last mm-hmm. one. But hopefully, you at least somewhat enjoyed my comedy, which I always enjoy. Yeah, and if you need like fixes, even if you don't enjoy me, I enjoy myself, so I don't care. Uh-huh. And if you like, if you guys are working with like Nintendo Switch and have having problem something, so just you could ask that also maybe, and I could just see how bad the problem is, and I can maybe help you. So yeah. Also that. Yeah, also that. Like, Take care. Have a nice day. Have a nice week. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>